So I'm standing here waiting for Nico and Mark now to lay the first panel. The vinyl is there. If you have a look here, it's bright. It's, um... <laughs> yeah, this is going to stand out. Um, it will probably break the internet with my followers because some are going to love it. The majority of you guys will probably hate it like normal. Any colour I usually do, everyone hates it. But I don't care. I'm going to do this. Am I convinced? No. Am I breaking the car up? No. Usually I do like the roof a different colour, but I'm going to do the whole car in this. I may add like a pinstripe to the vehicle, maybe a white. Um, that was Mark's idea. If you have a look at my wheel, so my wheel's got a red centre lock and a red sticky caliper from when it was chrome red. I'm actually getting black centre locks, so you lose the red and I'm going to probably add the green to the caliper, so that way there's no red on the car. Is there anyone in here that doesn't like the colour? Ooh, listen, that's a first. That is a first. So, um, let's lay the first panel. Ain't this the colour of money right here? Alright, it's dollars, but still it's money. This colour just reminds me of like, you know, the quality streets, you know, the little triangles that you get. That is the colour. Man, this is gonna look bad. This is you're gonna spot this from miles away. Proper leery. Do you know what? It matches the car quite nicely actually. Hello guys, as you can see, we're gonna have some joint in the middle. If you're still buying, it's not worth up. I'm sorry guys. What we can do? add to the car so Bert says orange Mark says white Mikey said white and orange a lot of colors uh, but right now we're talking about the mirrors so the mirror obviously was in satin black with the red stripe I don't think the satin black works especially that my wheels are gloss black so what we're saying gloss black mirror gloss black or chrome or chrome green or chrome turquoise as you can see, everyone's really helping me. We'll strip the mirror first and then we'll decide. So the majority of the car is wrapped now. Uh, what's left is the front and rear bumper. The front bumper obviously is the hardest part of the car. Nico and Mark came in at six in the morning and they've already wrapped the lower part of the bumper, which is obviously one of the difficult parts. They've now got the middle section and then the whole top section. Previously when I wrapped the car, I've done this in black. I'm actually gonna do it in green this time, including the back section, so it really shows off the Nero body kit. It is bright, it is a real mirror ball, as you can see the reflection in my face and in their faces. If you turn round, just to give you an idea, so this is another chrome. If you look at the difference between that and that, ridiculous. Um, so fair play to Hexis, they've smashed out of the park with this chrome. I can't wait for the car to be finished. So I've stripped the red caliper. We actually just added vinyl to it rather than painting them. So it's got a lovely nice face on there. So we took the chrome red off. I've put the chrome green on now, or the turquoise, whatever you want to call it, with the Lamborghini badge. And I've changed my centre locks. My centre locks originally came in red when I bought the car. I've got black ones from Lamborghini London. And Nico's added like a green circle. It's a bit like Iron Man. Nico and Mark, we were talking about this section here. So we've done half of it in the turquoise colour and the other half we left in black to see how it looks. 
I think I'm gonna end up doing all of this as well. And obviously the rocker cover. So yeah, it's gonna be very, very bright, very, very loud, very, very in your face. But I personally love it so far. And everyone in the unit loves it. So at the moment I have just created a file for Yanni's car. It's pretty much pinstripe lines. Um, we're going to do it in a gloss white using the plotter so we get an exact finish instead of cutting it by hand. So Nico and I have done the whole car now. I'm about to do the, white, the pinstripe. I think it's going to be hard for me because um, it's white and it's going to be a problem if it's not straight. Hi guys at home, my name's Scott Hexis Wilkins. So he is the boss of Hexis, you I am say? the boss of Hexis UK, yes. Okay, so he came and saw me, he saw you at the performance car show. That's right, yeah. And he said, Jamie, I know you do a lot of cars. I know you do a lot of high-end cars. You need to have Hexis on your vehicle. I was like, okay, obviously I work with mainly what Nico and Mark tell me because they're the rappers. And they said, Jamie, let's try something new. He said to me, I've got this chrome. It's a brand new chrome. It's a mirror chrome. There's four or five new colors. So I was like, okay, what have you got? And that is the colour we chose. <laughs> Firstly, it's amazing. It looks amazing. Absolutely stunning. I've seen a lot of chrome cars, and we've done a lot of chrome cars here. Why is your chrome so mirror? The only time I've ever seen this with other suppliers is when it's silver chrome. How have you managed to get it so, so bling? Like, talk to me. One of the most important things is the liner that we use and our adhesive coating technology. It just keeps the material absolutely perfectly glass smooth. So when your expert fitters work with it, you get a perfect result. We do a lot of cars here. Nikon Mark said to me they really enjoyed working on it. They said it was actually very nice. It was a little bit sticky in places, yep. but overall, they were impressed. Durability, wear and tear, is there anything I need to worry about? Because I've got to ask those questions. They're going to want to know. Of course. Uh, most important thing was making sure the car was clean before you applied it, which we know it is. We can see the result. And then aftercare, making sure that you keep it polished, you keep anything off it, so you keep it clean, regular. Make sure you're washing it down with just soap and water, not any heavy detergents, and that'll keep a perfect finish. Am I right in saying I'm the first person to have this colour? You're absolutely the first person to wrap their car in this colour. So I'm the first person. You heard it here first from Mr. Hexis. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. Guys, that is my car. Let's get it outside. So there it is, wow, unbelievable, mind-blowing, it's a special colour, not been done before, I've never seen it been done before, I'm hoping that I'm one of one in the UK, it's a brand new colour that's just come out by Hexis, I'm not here to promote any sort of vinyl company, I use Hexis, I use Avery, I use 3M, but this is a special chrome, I've put chrome so many times on my car in the past, but this is a real mirror, you usually get this effect with like a silver chrome, but this, unbelievable. I can't wait to get into the sun. But there she is in all of her glory. Lamborghini Aventador S, wrapped in like a turquoise green. It's got the white tie letters. It's got the green calipers. It's got the white pinstripe all the way around the Nero body kit and the rocker cover and the bars on the back. And on Saturday, I'm going to the Anthony Joshua fight in this and probably another 10 Lamborghinis. So if you're in Cardiff, check my car out. But thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you guys subscribe. Plenty more content coming soon. But from myself and my turquoise, the Lamborghini Ventador S, I'll see you soon.